Hi everyone and welcome to Bonnie's Best Creations and Christmas is not too far off and over the next week or so I'm going to share with you some of my very favorite Christmas cookies. Now when I bake I bake with memories of what my grandma used to do, what my mom used to do, and now I'm repeating it, hopefully, to pass on to my daughter-in-laws. So come on into the kitchen. Today we're making refrigerator cookies. So it's an easy recipe that can be made uh, a week ahead if you want and put in the refrigerator and then sliced as you want them so let's go into the kitchen and start refrigerator cookies mom's recipe all right so let's get started i'm at my hooser here that houses all of my baking needs and this year I have um, set up a coffee bar type of thing in there as well but I'm using this today to show you how I bake um, I have my big crock of flour there underneath my hooser I will show you I've got brown sugar and white sugar with my measuring cup Just so you have a tour of maybe what I do and my KitchenAid. So first things first, I'm going to add one cup of butter. And I'm going to cream that it's light in color. Next, I'm adding one cup of packed brown sugar. And I'm going to bend down here and get my one cup of white sugar and cream that together. And a half, sorry, three, three and a half cups of flour. And 
to this half a cup of flour, I'm, I'm just gonna add just a half a teaspoon of salt. together. To this I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. batter I'm adding one cup of chopped glazed cherries those were red and next a cup of chopped green cherries Okay, this batter is super thick, but it's the right consistency for these, these cookies. All right, so let's get this off the, the beater. I don't know, when my kids were little, they'd fight over who would lick this or the spoon I had three of them three kids and uh, the bowl throw a husband in there that wanted to lick something too best part isn't it about Christmas those memories I'm wondering if you have memories of when you baked with grandma mom or with your family so there's my dough now to make this workable i'm going to divide this in half just because it's easier and i'm going to roll this into a log as best as I can. Yes, I'm on a clean surface. Everything's clean, ready to go. And you can make these cookies as big or as small as you want. You can slice them as thin or thick as you want if they're a bit thicker you're going to bake them a little bit longer so it's whatever let's make it pretty i've seen people make these uh so that they're square so it doesn't the log is square by um just you know making those sides real firm and you can I'll show you how you could do that if that's what you want but you know what mom didn't take the time like that she just made these as simple as they are so there's one so I'm gonna gently lift this up and put it right there parchment paper or wax paper Um, I'm just going to roll this. If you want it square, just kind of each side, flatten it like that. 
there's the next side just by if you wanted your cookie square just do that for all four sides if that's what you'd like twist it and that will go in the refrigerator let's do one more this is the second this makes a lot of cookies but then I said, it depends, right? It depends if you want your cookies thick. These do puff up really nice, as you will see, to make a good size cookie. But you're gonna let this, once these are all rolled the way you want them, you're going to put it in the refrigerator overnight or longer you want this dough to firm up this is a great recipe for kids because you can have all these ready to go in the fridge bring them out and they can slice it with a knife i get i've had my kids do this when they were little and now the grandkids are doing this and it makes the it's instant, right? For those hyper little kids. I don't know if you remember I had three sons and I'm telling you that was a different life. Hyper, rambunctious, full of energy. So I sometimes I had to have uh, quick things to do to keep their attention. So there, I'm not going to square this up. I'm just gonna keep them round. And I'm gonna lift this again. And put it in that parchment paper. I try to make it as, as even as I can. Easy, simple, and colorful for that Christmas plate. So, we'll be back soon, tomorrow, to see these sliced and baked. Okay, so my roll has been in the fridge overnight and it's pretty solid and what i'm doing is i have a i use parchment paper for a lot of my baking it uh, saves a lot of cleanup and it comes out of the pan pretty easy so this roll and like i said i'm going to cut it about an inch just slice and like I said this is so good for kids because you can have these all made up and have them cut them and bake them and they're done magically you've done the groundwork and they can just slice and bake and once that is all done, let's slice this up. You can add nuts to this. You can add a little bit of coconut if you'd like, but I just do it just with the chopped cherries. There. If you want to uh, cut them thinner, they just won't bake as long. So now here I am. I'm just going to move the camera here so you can see this. And I'm going to space these about an inch apart.
I'm going to finish these up. My oven has been preheated to 350 and in my oven this will uh, bake for about 15 minutes till they're golden brown. So here are my cookies. Nice golden brown. And what a perfect cookie for kids to make for Santa, for him to gobble down when he visits. So I hope you'll give these refrigerator cookies a try. So quick and easy and delicious to any Christmas plate.